Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of KL Records. You can find a lot of Looker Studio templates for marketing and sales, blog about Google Sheets, Looker Studio and BigQuery for marketing. And this you can find on my website. If you subscribe to my blog, you can get my free Looker Studio template for Gav4 based on and it's really nice. <laughs> Let's talk. I am still experimenting with uh, Google Looker Studio Pro and on Pro version I have Gemini. I already tried to talk to her, to him, to it, <laughs> but uh, it was an issue. Like, it's right today. So, when on Looker Studio Pro we have this Gemini option. This dashboard, it's super, super simple. I created just to have something. So let's click to Gemini. I can generate slides. It could be nice. Let's see. And I want to generate slides from all charts. Let's see if it can do it. I don't use personally slides in my work, but I know that for some marketers it's really nice because you can add your text comments for charts. So what do we have? We have slide generated and saved to your drive. Oh. So this is really nice automation. Could be install it done. I have two options. Admin install, individual install. As you have Studio Pro, you have to use it from a company. Everyone at your organization can use. Yes, I agree. Everyone from my organization can use it. So when you have a Google Workspace for your organization, you can do it from company or you can do it for you as a person, individual. So free of charge. Okay. I can close this. Let's see what happened here. I already installed it. Hmm. And what do we receive? Let's close this. I receive a presentation with white background without any company style. It's okay. I have today's data. I have my title here. Report link. Super nice. Can we do slideshow? I like it. I can do report link and open my dashboard. Nice. Okay. What have on my web slides? Direct channel. So I have one slide per no one chart per slide this was my first chart How, let's read direct channel group accounts for the highest proportion of active users yes I represent number of users and percentage of the total we absorb in google analytics demo account so this is data from g4 martin store Organic social channel group. Yes, average number of active users across all channel group is 2,000. Okay, so then we have tables with channel and active users. Direct channel group dominate across all metrics. Wow. Engage session and L. A positive correlation exists between engage session and conversion. Session, engage session, active users. It's really nice. So it's not just add some comments with numbers from my charts, but it's really add some insights. Direct channel group account for the highest activity active users is number representing 50% of total. Agree. Organic social group has the lowest active users with only 1%. And then we have this is i wanted to check in the dashboard i have two pages i wanted to check if it is is gimini take take data only from one page or two but this data from second page so it uh, analyzing the whole dashboard uh, direct channel group dominates active users organic search is second largest page organic there is a po positive correlation between active users across time frames increases in short term active users generally correspond with increase in long-term active users. Overall active users increased by this number of percentage from April. How is it possible? Overall active users increased by 57% from April 1st to April 30 with a significant surge at 
of 88%. I don't see it. I don't see that active users increased. Active users was 50k and it is like probably 51k. Well, short term, seven, oh, wait, seven days active users. So increase overall, this I believe. So something is wrong here with active users. And this I believe. Users count Sandrix range indicated potential positive trend in month end. Active users didn't change so much. We can see it on the second page. Active users they were two thousand one hundred twenty-five and became three hundred thirty. Ah okay we can just don't see it so maybe it's correct for example if i move it to optional metrics 30 days yeah let's move this i have only active users on the chart the number is anyway for me suspicious but since it's true okay and I can add my company, I can change background, I can do some, apply some style and my presentation is ready. I think it saved me a lot of time to be honest and I really like it. I can change text, whatever, I don't want to make it like to spend time now for this. But I think it's super nice feature and for one person Looker Studio Pro it cost only about $10. So if you prepare a lot of presentations and you need to find insights for marketing data i think it's a really good base for your analysis of course you can do something better you can do more detailed analysis but from what we have here i think it's great wow okay for me this gemini slides approved <laughs> i would recommend to use it and maybe i will try with more complex dashboard and maybe test with some other projects with real data, not just for for demo account, but super super nice and super recommended. My applause. If you like this video, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. I will continue to explore Looker Studio Pro and marketing analytics. If you have some questions that you want to know about marketing analytics, let me know. And a new Looker Studio course is preparing for now. Thank you. Hope to see you soon and bye bye.